Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Granny B's house. I hope you're having a good day today. And I just know you're being kind to all those people around you. Well, you know who else is being kind? Pete the cat. Pete the cat's pretty kind. Um, it's almost Valentine's Day. And that means different things to different people. And we're gonna find out what it means to Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat, Valentine's Day is Cool, is written by Kimberly and James Dean. All right, let's see. Oh, there's his friend Kelly. You know Pete's friend Kelly, right? It was the day before Valentine's Day and Pete was riding his skateboard home when he saw his friend Callie. She was holding a big red heart that said, love. Have you finished your Valentine's Day cards? Asked Callie. Nah, Valentine's Day is not cool, said Pete. Oh, Pete, Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. It's a day to tell people how special they are to you, said Kelly. Pete skated on, but something in the back of his mind told him, Kelly might be right. By the time Pete got home, he had decided that Kelly was right about Valentine's Day. So he got out his pencils, paper, crayons, and markers, and sat down at the kitchen table. First, Pete started to work on a card for his friend Larry. Pete made several cards with the big red hearts, but he was not happy with his work. Pete wanted to make the perfect card for every cat in his class. I'll never get all these cards done in time, Pete told his mom. Pete's mom smiled. Just do your best, she said. Just tell Larry why he's cool. There's something cool about every cat. Pete got back to work. He thought hard about what was cool about Larry. Perfect, Pete said. Larry must be a football player. Or maybe he just likes football. After that, it didn't take long to make cards for all the boys. To Josh, there was a soccer ball. To Trey, a guitar. To Rob, a car. To John, a piano. Then Pete made special cards for all the girls and wrote Love Pete on each one. And of course, he made the biggest heart-shaped card for his mom. The next day, Pete and Callie waited for the bus together. I decided you were right. Valentine's Day is cool. That's awesome, said Callie. By the way, I'm having a Valentine's Day party at my house after school if you want to come. The bus pulled up then and Pete and Callie got on. Mr. Ted, the bus driver, smiled and said, good morning. But as soon as they were in their seats, Pete put his head in his paws. What's wrong, Callie asked. I forgot to make a card for Mr. Ted, he cried. Then Pete thought, but I can make him an awesome card before we get to school. Pete pulled out a piece of paper and colored pencils from his backpack and began to draw. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for picking us up every day for school, Pete and Callie said as they handed Mr. Ted his Valentine. Thank you, Mr. Ted told them. You just made my day. Oh, and they drew a school bus on the card. That's very appropriate. 
What about Mrs. Gold, the crossing guard? We need to make her a valentine, too, Pete practically shouted. Let's do it, Callie said. Let's make valentines for everyone. Pete and Callie got super busy making cards for everyone. For Mrs. Gold, the crossing guard. For the police, that's important. And the firefighters. And the librarian. Wow, Pete and Callie are good artists. After school, Pete went to Callie's party. He rang the bell, and then he froze. Callie opened the door only to find her friend Pete in a panic. What's wrong, Pete? I forgot something very important, Pete admitted. What? Callie asked. I just realized I forgot to make a card for you, Pete said. That's okay, Pete. Cards are just a way of showing you care. Hanging out with you, that's way better than any card. This is the best Valentine's Day ever. And happy Valentine's Day to you. Love, Pete. You know, Granny B bought this book at a used bookstore, and I think it's lived out its natural life. It's coming apart. But Pete's heart isn't coming apart. It's just right. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I hope you remember that Cards are nice, but spending time with people is even more fulfilling and and it's a very kind thing to do. The time you spend with people is making memories. So let's make some good memories this Valentine's Day. Let's remember to be kind to those people around us and whether they have valentines or you have valentines, it just doesn't matter. Just be together. Well, you know, Granny B loves you, and Granny B would be very happy if you would come back to see me again. Okay? Bye-bye.